What's good and what's up guys, let's do Jed here some more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we got Epona and the Big Goron. Uh, sorry, thing. No, we got a Big Goron. He's now aiding us in our quest. But no, uh, we got this nice sword right here. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and do what we were told to do from the very get-go. We're going to go ahead and deal with the stuff in the forest. Now, let's play the raw power to Big Goron's on real quick. These things will usually take... The uh, giant Deku Babas will take, I think, three or four sword slashes. The big Goron sword does uh, times two the damage of the Master Sword. Again, this is one complaint I have about some of the older Zelda games: the fact that the Master Sword is not the most powerful sword. It's actually one of the weakest. Um, like I know, Link's have passed it that where he can forge the Master Sword. I guess that's kind of like their excuse of being like, we this thing's very old and ancient, so we need to strengthen it or something. But you would think, you know, since it's made by the goddesses or whatever. That's made by ancient sages. But here we have Mino the douchebag. What are you? Though you wear curious clothing, you can't fool me. I promised Soraya I would never let anyone go through here. So, if we play Soraya's song... That melody! Soraya plays that song all the time. You, do you know Soraya? That song. Soraya taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you, I don't know why, but I remember him. So yes, Mido, like people don't realize that uh, this is Link, the little kid that they used to pick, um, pick fun of. And uh, I was actually talking to uh, with my friends about this. Uh, not too long ago, but the fact that, you know, Link never specifically says, Hey, this is me, I'm, you know, here and stuff. And, uh, the thing I came up with was probably because, you know, he didn't want to put him in harm's way. And now he tells us the same thing. Shut up, Navi. I'm gonna middle something. Oh my god, I forgot how slow text goes in this game. That was way too long to explain it. Uh, but going before I go into my thing, there are these models here that look really derpy. With their muscles and stuff. One hit with the uh, hook shot will take them out. But don't stand in uh, their path because they will get you. And they're not fun. Where's this one at? But uh, what I was saying though is... Um, I get why they didn't do it in the game, where like, you know, uh, because Link doesn't talk and all that, but if you actually look at like the characters and stuff and take it outside of the realm of a video game, it's the fact that, you know, Link probably didn't want to put him in harm's way by saying that he's here and all that. Did that hit you? Good. But anyways, these mob ones right here, like I said, you don't want to get in the way of them. I believe this one... Nope, the one's over, the one I'm thinking of is over here. I'm gonna actually do this. So you see, he's right here, just walking around. That was a really weird guard. He's staring right at me, and he's dead now. So these mob ones aren't all that bright. But they're easy enough to get past, I believe. There's, I don't think there's one on this path right here. Oh, there is. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, and we are almost at the Forest Temple. This, uh, I never said it, but this is the place that, uh, we came to when we were young to meet Soraya. Again, I'm not, I'm not really gonna worry too much about the story and all that, because there are, uh, tons of Let's Plays on this game. Alright, that was stupid. I was trying to stray from it. There you go. That guy would normally take like four hits, but he dies in two hits because the big Goron sword. Anyway. And coming up the steps.
slow time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. A thing that, uh, that doesn't change with time is a memory of young days. In order to come back here again, play the Minute of Force. I've never learned, I never know how to say that one word, so I know I butchered it. Uh, but we got technically the first song you're supposed to. Okay, cool. Don't be stupid. But we learned the first song you're technically supposed to learn uh, when we come to the future. So now we can enter the Forest Temple, the actual first dungeon in the game. So in this first room, you have some uh, wolfos here. Die easy enough because I'm magic. Uh, and something I want to fix uh, that I don't. I think someone uh, is going to point out, I haven't uploaded the video yet, but um, if we come over here real quick, we see I have almost 40 school tulips. I'm actually going to get the 40th one right here. There is not a prize for the 40th school tulip. Um, how it works is, you know, there's a prize for 10, 20, 30, it skips 40, goes to 50, and then skips uh, all the ones between 50 and jumps to 100, because there's only uh, 5 people in the room. I believe it's only five or six. I might be wrong about that, but I do recall there is not a 40th uh, prize. So we actually do need to wait till 50. I'm just saying, the music here is really creepy. And, I don't know. Uh, the one thing I will give this game is the music does kind of set the tone. But here we get our first key to dungeon. We. There we go. And I got this jerk right here, which we can just take out with the hook, or, yeah, hook up. So he's enough. And upon entering this room... have the infamous Pose Sisters that we're about to deal with. They took the light and therefore we cannot go further down that elevator. We can't really do much, so let's just go ahead and head over this way to this door. Uh, immediately turn right to find yourself another Skotula. I'm almost so fidgety with stupid aiming. There we go. Oh hey, whoa. I'm so glad the bubbles don't do what they do in Majora's Mask, where they, uh... There we go. Where Majora's Mask, they, uh, just... Uh, make her can't use her sword, it's so annoying. She's a Song of Storm, but still. And we can meet some stealth folks. I don't know... Oh, that's where I have a hold. I don't know. There's some Zelda games where I, I like to have it on, uh... You know, where I hold the button, and then there's others where I like to have it where it's constantly on the enemy. This game just feels weird if you don't have it, uh, like what you want. But yeah, those are stealth hosts. Easy enough to take out. This dungeon is actually going to be kind of a joke because I have the big Goron, uh, I was about to say big Goron side quest. <laughs> uh, because I have the big Goron sword. So there we go. I believe there's a fairy in this room. And you know me, I'm a stickler for fairies, so... Also with a Megaton hammer, so... Yeah, this dungeon's gonna become a joke. Uh, Megaton hammer. I don't believe we're gonna need bombs for anything. Uh, also, something I like to do when I go around Hyrule Field is, um... Oh, 
buy this real quick. Alright. Oh, he's still alive. Kill him! Waste of time, but what they like to do when going around Hyrule Field is to go back and forth between Big Goron Sword and um, the Megaton Hammer, just like this. Uh, I believe. I'm a little hazy on this dungeon. I never quite got it down, but I believe we want to go over here. Got some more Jacob Babas. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting I uh, have on uh, hold. Like Wind Waker just feels right to have it where uh, you can hold it. I guess it just doesn't feel right. Uh, all right. I, I really need. I don't know why. Whoa. You want to actually take this guy out though, and as best you can try and get away from that uh, wall to low. He's gonna save me. Go, 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 go. Nice. So yeah, if you hit the bubble with your uh, shield, it's fire will diminish. And I believe this is the uh, dungeon map. Like the beginning part of uh, the force supply got down basically, but it's after a certain point where I'm almost like, where do I go now? Yeah, dungeon map. Go away. I bet you if I actually used the map, it'd be really helpful. I like the fact that it's just a tiny Deku Baba. Go to the right there. Wall to the Can I hit it? What the heck? Alright. I don't know how that works. The fly buff around me. Oh, I know this room. Ah, you jerk. I want to kill you. You jerk. There's a skull tool over here. Actually, I can even get up there. Oh. Why can't this be the one time where I clip through the ground? Game, why you gotta do this to me? There we go. Uh, seriously, Link? Okay, Link, you are the hero of time. You're supposed to be the only man who can save the land and all this. You're supposed to be somewhat smart. Why are you such an idiot? Flies really bother me. Very tip of it. Oh, come on. Alright, let's do from over here. Seriously? Which is where supposed to get scared this long. Alright, I give up. I don't care. I do not care. Falls as in a chest, just a heart. I'm way super pissed. But I really don't care. School 2 is not that important to me, anyways. You do like going down here, though. In all its buggy glory. Because there is a chest down here that contains. a small key! But that's all you're basically doing for the uh, beginning part of the dungeon, just going around collecting keys. Because puzzles! And I believe this just loops us back to the room we ran previously. Uh, yes it does. Weak. Don't touch me. Ah, oh, you touched me. He touched me! Alright, now from here I have no idea where to go. I believe, uh... This door should be locked. 
Yes, this. Ah, uh, so that means we want to go this way. Process of elimination. Because over there is just where you jump off at. Yes, I know exactly what I'm doing now. Okay, I got this. I got this. No one here. Hey. Get to a bubble. We're not supposed to be that hard. Uh, I believe there's something up here. Uh... No, that's where it came out. Never mind. Alright. Now let's begin to climb! I'm very enthusiastic, I can tell. <laughs> All right, so over here, we have... Thanks, Navi. I couldn't see the blatant arrows on the floor. But yes, as Navi so generously pointed out, we have arrows on the floor, and we have this giant block right here that we need to push. But technically, we're pulling it. But we need to use this. And Link is super strong for the fact that he can move this giant boulder. How the heck do people do this? I know Link has like the magical powers and all the things needed to be the hero. But there's gotta be some way he can push stuff like this. Like he's Like I know he's uh chosen by the goddesses to be the hero destined for greatness and stuff, but they there's I'm not going to buy that. I can move giant boulders or rocks because you know I'm fantastic and the protagonist. I wish I could be a protagonist. So we gotta do it once again, but this time it's a little different because actually no, I'm kind of wasting time by doing it on this side. I'm wasting time. Uh, you're actually supposed to come up here first and push it, and then you pull it. Uh, so I believe you want to go this way. Yes. Yep. And now we just go ahead and drop down. Climb one up. And then we push it. Must resist the urge to sing. And down the hole it goes. I think that's about everything we're gonna do. Yeah, because up here will lead us to a magical place. A magical place full of bubbles! So, uh, here's these guys. We've been here in the whole entire time. 